this is the first lecture on theory of computation so here we will learn about alphabets strings and languages so alphabets are a set of symbols okay it's a finite set of symbols and these symbols can be numbers letters or any character okay so special characters also so it's denoted by the set of symbols or alphabet is denoted by a sigma where for example we have to for decimal number system we have the alphabet as the set of numbers 0 1 2 3 4 till 9 so if you want to write any decimal number 35 463 or whatever okay so you have to use alphabets from this okay so even for binary numbers so binary numbers how do we represent so we have the alphabets as 0 and 1 so the sigma or the alphabet is 0 and 1 for binary numbers for hexadecimal so we can use represent our numbers using 0 1 2 till 9 then a b c d e f and for your english we have small a lowercase a b c till z then uppercase a b c till z then you also use something like dot okay full stop exclamation mark all these so these are all set of symbols okay which is called alphabet of the some particular language so we will now see so we have the alphabets for example in english we learn about alphabets then we come to form some words from it okay which are called string so string is finite sequences of the symbol okay so for example we learn okay a b c d e okay so we learn the alphabets of english then we try to form some words okay like c a t cat boy apple okay so we learn all these okay so similarly in automata theory so we have strings which are formed over the alphabet so these are finite sequences of symbols so let's for example say our alphabet is a comma b then what are the strings that we can make and strings are just finite sequences of symbols so i can make a b there's length one sequences then a a a b b a and b b they are length two sequences and then a a a a a b a b a these are some length three sequences and so on so you can make an infinite number of words using even a small number of symbols in the alphabet like here we have just two so w is used to denote a string and mod of w is the length of the string for example if w is a b a b a then mod of w is 5 the length of the string <laughs> Uh, epsilon is used to denote an empty string so after studying string now let's try to see a few things okay so sigma let's say in our example is 0 comma 1 sigma 1 denotes set of all strings of length 1 taken over the alphabet okay sigma 2 so here for length 1 what are they 0 is one such string and 1 is another such length 0 is epsilon because epsilon is a string of length 0 sigma 2 is set of all strings of length 2 so here we can have 0 0 0 1 1 0 and 1 1 set of length 3 you can similarly form so you might know 0 0 0 0 0 1 0 1 0 and then 0 1 1 1 0 0 1 0 1 1 1 0 and 1 1 1 okay so these you can form sigma 3 and sigma n is the set of all strings taken from alphabet of length n so i can ask you a simple question that how many what will be the size of the sigma n okay for this example let's say then it will be like we have n places so 1 2 3 till n and i have to fill it with 0 1 or 0 or 1 0 or 1 0 or 1 so there are 2 into 2 into 2 into 2 till n places so it is 2 to the power of n and let's see if our alphabet was 
0, 1, 2, 3, 4 such places options were there in the alphabet. Then I could have 0, 1, 2, 3, 0, 1, 2, 3. So it would have become 4 to the power of n. And if there was the size of sigma was let's say b, uh, not b, let's say x because we have already used b. So not get confused. So it will be x options are there. So it will be x to the power of n. Now, sigma star, also known as lean closure, is set of all strings that can be formed using the alphabet. So, it's epsilon union, sigma 1 union, sigma 2 union, sigma 3 union, till infinite length, okay? And sigma plus, you just leave the empty string, okay? So, we will see with some examples which we already have explained here. So, sigma is let's say 0, 1. So, sigma 0 is epsilon. Sigma 1, you have 0 and 1. So, we already talked about this. Sigma 3 is length 3 strings. And so, and if you have 0, let's say I have an alphabet which is just 0, then what is sigma star? So, sigma star will be I have empty string, then in string of length 1, sigma 1, sigma 2 is 0, 0, sigma 3 is 0, 0, 0, sigma 4 is 0, 0, 0, 0, and so on, okay? This is in finite length. And then, let's say we have now talk about concatenation of strings, okay? So, we have two words, okay, two strings, w1 and w2. So, concatenation means that we just append the string, the second string to the first string. So it is W1 concatenated with W2. It becomes A, B, C, X, Y, Z. So this is one definition. Then another is reverse of a string. So you simply take if W is A, B, C, D, then the reverse will become last one, the first, second, last one, the second one and so on. So D, C, B, A. Now, let's consider the language, okay? So, English, we had learned alphabet, then we learned about words or strings, then we come to the language, okay? So, now we want to write a few things. So, it is in mathematical and automata theory, it's a theory of computation, it's set of strings chosen from the sigma star, okay? So, language is a subset, okay, from sigma star. And it is like we will see with some concrete examples which will make it clear. Let's say sigma is 0, 1. Okay, so we have alphabet 0, 1. It's simpler to take. So some examples of languages are L1 might be like a set of all strings starting with 1. Okay, set of all strings that start with 1. So first one can be 1. Then we can have 1, 0, 1, 1. So this is sigma 1, sigma 2, let's write sigma 3. So what will it be? 1, 0, 0, 1, 0, 1, 1, 1, 0 and 1, 1, 1. So this is sigma 3. Similarly, you can write sigma 4 also. Okay, sigma 4, what will it become? 1, then you write 0, 0, 0, 1, 0, 0, 1 and so on. Okay. So, this tells that, okay, this is the language. So, our alphabet was 0, 1. Now, we are having the language which is the set of all strings starting with 1. So, this is the infinite set as you can understand. Okay, I can have infinite number of elements here because our length can go till infinity. Then, let's say another language is over alphabet 0, 1. Is set of all strings of length 2. Now, what length 2 set of all strings? So it will be 0, 0, 0, 1, 1, 0, 1, 1. And this is a finite language. Okay, so here you have finite number of elements. So this was infinite. And this one becomes finite. Then we have set of all language third language can be set of all strings that starts with zero and ends with one so for example so what can i write here so you can write it will be so it starts with a zero ends with a one smallest such will be zero one then i can have something in between here so zero one zero one one 
I have zero one in between. I have two things zero zero, then zero zero one one, zero one zero one, and zero one one one. Okay, so this you can continue. This is also infinite number of elements in this language. L for set of all strings with equal number of zeros and ones. Okay, equal number of zeros and ones. So here we have so epsilon also has equal number of zero and one. Both have zero numbers. And 0, 1 is another equal number of 1, 0 and 1, 1. 0, 1, 0, 1, 1, 0, 1, 0, 1, 1, 0, 0, 0, 0, 1, 1 and so on. Okay. This is also as you can understand it's infinite number of elements. Okay. In this. Another can be let's say that it can okay so i have written 1 to the power of n 0 to the power of n n is greater than equal to 1 so l5 is the language okay where you have first we have ones n ones followed by n zeros or 0 to the power of n 1 to the power of n this means basically that okay n if n is equal to 1 so it is 1 0 n is equal to 2 it is 1 1 0 0 n is equal to 3 1 1 1 0 0 0 so this set is also infinite. So now you can understand that this is about the languages. And we will see afterwards that there are languages that are regular and other languages that are not regular, okay, which we will see in the next. But till now to revise, so we learned about the alphabets, okay, which are set of finite set of symbols then we learnt about string finite which are the finite sequence of symbols and then we learnt about uh, like some uh, sigma 1 sigma 2 sigma and sigma star sigma plus and then what we learned concatenation reverse of string and then finally about languages so languages describe some some property of the strings okay so the set of strings what property do they have so for example it starts with one ends with zero it starts with one so all these properties okay so we learned about language so i hope you enjoyed it thanks a lot